Now, we gonna create this. This is the third video tutorial of creating something, with only using the blend tool. In the first and second videos, we only use two circles, and one spine to form or create a new object. From these samples, we can see, that there are many possibilities to create something new just by using the blend tool. Therefore, in this tutorial we use the blend tool again, to create a new object. If the previous two videos used a circle, now we are using free shapes to blend. Okay, let's get started. The first thing we make is the background. Shape a rectangle using the rectangle tool. The size follows the size of the artboard. Set the color with light blue. R203. G251. B255. Just like that. Lock the background layer, and make new layer with this create new layer button. In this episode, we gonna blend free shape. So, let's create free shape. First, to create free shapes, we can use many kinds of tools, depending on the needs and the shape of the object that we want to create. Or, we can create a free shape from the geometry. But now, I'm only using the pen tool. Now, create a free shape. Here, there is no standard model to be made. You are free to create objects with closed paths. Finally, close the path. After the first free shape has been completed, create a new free shape by duplicating the first shape. Go to the edit menu. Then select copy. Go back to the edit menu again, and select paste in place. Reduce the size of the shape. And make some adjustments to it by using the direct selection tool. For the adjustment, try to make it look smaller and make it as a smooth path. Because we need three shapes to be blended, then create a third shape. Again, go to the edit menu. Then select copy. Go back to the edit menu again, and select paste in place. Change the size of the object to small. And make some adjustments to it by using the direct selection tool. Okay, now we just need to blend these three objects. But before we blend the three objects, I will give them color. For the biggest object, I will give the same color as the background color. Select the eyedropper tool, and point the cursor to the background to pick sample color. And the color will automatically follow the color that we choose. For the object in the middle, I give it a red color with R255, G65. B, 77. And for the last object, I give it a dark blue with R, 0. G, 46. B, 66. Don't forget to set the stroke to none. Now, it's time for them to be blended. Select the blend tool. Choose the biggest first, then the middle, and then the smallest. After finished blending, double click the blend tool to bring up the blend option panel. On the Blend Option panel, check the Preview for Live Preview. Change the Spacing to Specified Steps. The purpose of the Specified Steps is to allow you to control the number of steps between the start and end of the blend. And for the values, just adjust it. And click OK. And that's it. We are done with the design. Now it is your turn to develop various kinds of designs just by utilizing the blend tool features and techniques that I show you. Before I ended this video, this is just one of technical process to create some design stuff. You can use one of that technique, or you can combine with another technique to create more creative design stuff. Finally, if this video is very useful, please subscribe, like, or share this video to help this channel grow. Or if you have questions, or else, about the contents of this video, you can comment below.